Hi, welcome back to Coffee Mabel Time. My name is Taylor. If you're new here, we're so glad to have you. We make Christian videos weekly to help you guys grow in your relationship with God and learn how to study the Bible deeply for yourself. So today we are going to be doing the easy Bible study method. If you are not familiar with it, I will have a link down below to some of our other videos. We have several easy Bible study method videos. So if you like this, you might want to check out some of these other ones that we have. It's basically an acronym that helps you walk through Bible study in a way that makes it easier. So it stands for E, enter into the story, A, assess the main idea, S, seek God in his character, and Y, yearn for a heart change and deeper intimacy with Christ. So I want this video to be something that you can use as a guide to your own personal Bible study. I just did this this morning for my quiet time. Specifically, we're going to be looking at Galatians 5 verses 16 through 25. I like to read this in ESV, NIV, or NLT. I think those are all great translations that you can look at. ESV is a little harder to understand than say NLT or NIV because those are, translations are made more for our modern day language. In order to do that, I think that we should begin our Bible study by reading through all of Galatians 5. So because this is going to be a bit of a do-it-yourself video, I'm going to have you guys read through Galatians 5 and then pause and then we'll come back all together. Okay, now that you are done reading like through Galatians 5, my suggestion is to take just a brief 30 seconds to a minute to pray over this passage. This is a time for you to quiet your heart, center your focus on God, and show him your intention for this Bible study and what you want to learn, what inspired you so far in reading this text. I did mine in my prayer journal here. And yeah, I just wrote it on one of these pages. This is the praying scripture section. So take 30 to 60 seconds to do that. Pause the video and then we'll come back. Okay, welcome back. I hope that your prayer time was fruitful. Now we are going to go ahead and do the first letter in the Easy Bible Study Method, which stands for E, enter into the story. So what I like to do before going into a commentary, and my suggestion is for you to do this as well, is to look at Galatians 5 and if you have time, look at some of the other chapters preceding this and try to find some of the context of this passage without looking to a commentary or an outside resource. I want you to take time to pause this video, look at some of the context clues as you enter into the story, see what you have, and then I want you to, once you're done doing that, I want you to go to look up online Galatians context, and I'm pretty sure one of the first links is just going to be the ESV website, esv.org, and they give you a really good, succinct understanding of the context of the book of Galatians. Um, of course, you can look at other resources, but that one I just know is very straight to the point. Context is there. So take time to enter into the story, journal what you find, and then let's come back and go into letter A. Okay, so now that you have entered into the story, I hope that you learned some things. I hope that it helped you understand this Galatians 5 better. Now we are going to go into the second point of the easy Bible study method, which is assess the main idea. So what is the purpose of this passage? And I love that we just looked at the ESV.org's context page of Galatians because it actually gives us the purpose of the book, which I think is really helpful. It said, the purpose is this false teachers have convinced the galatians that they are required to be circumcised the result is division within their church paul gives them numerous reasons why they should return to the simple truth of the gospel within the outline also that they give us on the website we see that this chapter 5 is centered on life in the spirit and love so the exercise that i want to give us to help us find the main theme in Galatians 5, 16 through 26, which is the main chunk of pa the passage that we are focusing on today, is this. I want you to journal, take some time to summarize this passage in one sentence. And I remember I did this in Bible college. A couple of my professors, I believe, had us 
study a passage, and then summarize it in one sentence. And what this does is it forces you to look through all of the verses in your passage and find what the main verses are with the big point of the passage and then see what other verses are just supporting verses or verses that elaborate on the main points in the passage. And let me tell you, when we did this as a class, everybody came up with different variations of the same thing. So you're probably going to be able to find the main point of this passage, but we're probably gonna word it differently. And when we come back from this time, I'm going to give you guys the sentence that I came up with to summarize Galatians 5, 16 through 20, 26. But I want you to be confident in the Holy Spirit's work to be able to show you what the main purpose in this passage is. Look for the verses that are, are bold statements and then other verses that look like they're supporting that bold statement, that claim, they're elaborating on it. And so take some time to do this. It might take you a couple minutes. I think it probably took me about three to five minutes to do this. Um, and then we will come back and I'll share with you my assessment of the main idea. Okay, so the main idea that I had summarized into one sentence was this. Those belonging to Christ should bear the fruit of walking in step with the Spirit not the evident works of the flesh. So you probably had something similar to this, that those who are walking with the spirit should not be exhibiting uh, the works of the flesh, right? But that we should be exhibiting the fruits of the spirit. And so now that we have assessed the main idea, we are going to do the third section of the easy Bible study method, which is the S, seek God and his character. So what I want you to do in this section is take time to highlight in purple the qualities and characteristics of God. And there is one verse in particular that has so many qualities of God that we can really take time to meditate on, chew on, think on, and, and to take time to pray and praise God that this is who he is, right? So go ahead and take time to seek God and his character in this passage by highlighting in purple and then to go ahead and take time to pray a prayer of praise and thanks to God that he has these wonderful qualities. Take time and we'll come back together afterwards. Okay, so if you were like me, then you probably honed in on verse 22, which talks about the fruit of the Spirit. So the Spirit of God is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. All of these things describe our wonderful, great holy God. Lastly, we're going to do the why section of the easy Bible study method, which is yearn for heart change and deeper intimacy with Jesus. And so what I want you to do here in this time is to look at this passage. It's so juicy. It's just this rich passage filled with truth that we can apply in our life and so much of it leads us to want to have a heart change for God because if you're anything like me you could probably relate to a lot of the works of the flesh that we shouldn't be involved in or shouldn't get into and because we are fallen sinful human beings and we're frail we go to sins that we know that we shouldn't and so as you are yearning for heart change, I want you to take time to bold and highlight and journal a couple of the key fruits of the spirit that you want to focus on. Maybe just pick one and say, this is the, the fruit of the spirit that I want to focus on this week. And God, would you help to rid me of the other impurities? Help me to let the spirit set me free from the bondage 
and of the sins that have been entangling me and the way that our flesh can control us, Lord, help us to ultimately desire the freedom that we have in Christ. Help us to walk in step with the Spirit and take time to just prayerfully journal through those. And that is the last step of this easy Bible study method. I hope that after you pray, you are just filled with the peace of God and the encouragement that his kindness is meant to lead us to repentance. He is not kicking you while you're down. If you are struggling with sins, he is actually reaching his hand out to you and wanting to pull you close into his love, into his forgiveness that he always has readily available so, to you. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed this easy Bible study. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below something that you learned from this Bible study or a word of encouragement for other people that might be struggling with the works of the flesh because I think we all can struggle with that. And if you are interested in purchasing one of our prayer journals, I will have this linked down below as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. We love you all. If you want more Bible study tips, if you want to learn how to really in-depth study your Bible, feel free to also check out our in-depth Bible study academy. It is extremely affordable. We have everything that we learned in Bible college in those 12 courses. So thank you guys for watching. We love you so much. Bye. If you think about the seven deadly sins, everybody's heard about those. I mean, this mm -hmm. church characterized these sins that they found are the root of a bunch of other sins. And it was always in the list, right? Envy, you know, greed, lust, uh, gluttony, those things. But envy was one that I think went out of favor because I think people found it hard to diagnose, right? Do I, am I really envious? They use words like jealousy, or maybe they knew coveting from the Ten Commandments, but they didn't really see the problem. What they saw is bitterness and anger and frustration and gossip. But I'm saying those are the those are the the, the fruits of envy. Right? If we can deal with envy, we can take care of a lot of other sins.